shape out, border da, apron hand da, depending on what time you are tuning into this. It's Friday already, Friday again. Now we know that if we were in school as normal, we would all be gathered in the hall together to explain and to celebrate how proud we are of each other and all of our um, achievements this week. Obviously we can't do that at the minute, but we will not let the pesky virus stop us from celebrating. So this week, Celebration Assembly is coming to you from my living room. So let's get to it. First of all, I just wanted to say thank you for all your videos. We've been amazed at the amount of videos we've had in and it's been so lovely to see all your wonderful faces. So I know the teachers have been working really hard to put all of those videos together and they've popped them on your Seesaw account for you. So if you haven't seen it, go and have a look because they are, they're wonderful. And it's nice to see, see all your faces because we haven't seen you for so long. So that was lovely. Next thing I wanted to say was this week has been a really special week. It's been International Nurses Week. Now, I think at this time, that means even more to us because our nurses have played a massive part in beating the coronavirus. So I think it's extremely important that we celebrate what they have done. As well as International Nurses Week, it's also been Florence Nightingale's birthday. Now, Florence Nightingale was a very special person. I'm sure you've already heard lots on the news or on the TV about her, but she was a very important nurse because she made sure that nursing wasn't an untrained profession. She made sure that you needed to be skilled and qualified to become a nurse. And she made sure that people respected that medical profession, which I think today we know is more important than ever, isn't it? So, happy birthday to Florence Nightingale. 200 she would have been this week. 200 on the 12th of May. Unbelievable. Now, one of the things that Florence Nightingale would have had to be, same as all of our key workers have to be, and that we encourage each other to be all the time, is kind. Now, to have kindness is really important, isn't it? And this week, I set my class, Dosma Sapphire, a task to write some poetry all about being kind. Now, I did tell them that I was going to pick one, but I just couldn't pick. There were so many wonderful poems, I just could not pick. So, I've been a little bit cheeky, and I've picked three. So, here's the first one. And this one is from Zing in my class. And Zing says, Kindness is the colour of green. It smells like cotton candy. It sounds like twinkling stars. It feels like fluffy cotton. It looks like Play-Doh. It tastes like candy canes. And when I'm kind, I feel nice, warm and fuzzy. Well done, saying a super poem. The next one is actually off his brother. This is off Dexter. Lots of hard work going on in their house. So let's see what Dexter thinks kindness is. Kindness is the colour of pink. It smells like flowers from the garden. It sounds like laughter. It feels like fluffy wool. It looks like birds tweeting. And it tastes like cotton candy. When I am kind, I feel happy and warm. I totally agree with you, Dexter. I feel happy and warm when I'm kind too. Well done, yum. And the last one, I don't know if you can see that. Lots of effort gone into this one with the presentation too. This one was off Freya. Kindness. Kindness is the colour of pink. It smells like fresh roses. It sounds like laughter and giggling. It feels like a soft, fluffy blanket. It looks like a sunny summer's day. It tastes like warm hot chocolate with squirty cream and fluffy marshmallows. And when I am kind, I feel happy and warm. Well done, Freya. Well done to all of you, Freya. A super job there. I gave you a challenge and boy, did you complete it. Well done, you. So, now we've had some nice poetry, let's move on. 
Now we all know that attendance is a little bit different at the minute because you cannot get up and just go to school and have your mark on the register as normal. But we are keeping a little eye on who is putting that extra effort in on our online learning. Or even if you're doing offline learning and you're sending pictures to your teacher. And this week, the class who has engaged the most with online or offline learning is Dosba Ayer. So well done, Dosba Ayer. I know you won it in the first week. I can't remember who won last week, but I'm pretty sure that's twice that you've won attendance now. So well done to you, Year 6. Keep up that fantastic work you are doing, Mrs Edwards. Very proud. Well done, yeah. And obviously, it's not just the children, it is the parents as well. So I think a big round of applause to parents too for making sure that you are getting up and getting on that learning, even though you're not in school. We really appreciate it, so thank you very much. Now, this is my favourite bit. I loved hearing this week from your teachers because we, we send that message out or we give a little phone call to say, who has impressed you this week? And I've loved hearing who's impressed all the teachers in Key Stage 2 this week. So let's see who won Star of the Week. In Year 3, Dosbath Porfa. For his fabulous work on Egypt, the winner is Dalton. Well done, Dalton. Fabulous job. Mr Curtis is super impressed with our work on Egypt. I can't wait to see that because we're all doing things about around the world. So maybe I can pinch some ideas from you. Well done, Dalton. Year four, Dosba Sapphire. My class. Super tricky to pick for me. Super tricky. But this one isn't necessarily for the work he's been doing, but for his attitude and his mindset. Every morning I ask my children to check in with me. Can they just let me know how they're feeling and maybe why they're feeling that way? And this young gentleman has checked in with me lots this week and he's had a very positive attitude to the day ahead. And not only has he had a positive attitude in his check-ins, but he's also been trying some new things with his mum. And that's Harvey. Well done, Harvey. I've loved seeing the yoga that you've been doing and I'm sure Mammy's really been enjoying that too. So well done, young. Nice to be taking the opportunity to be trying some new things, isn't it? Well done. Year five, Dosba Arian. This one goes to a young man for engaging with Mrs. Hipke, Miss Hipke, sorry, and the work that she's been putting online every single week. Wow, well done, you. That goes to Taryn. Well done, Taryn. Fabulous job. And last but not least, from our attendance winners this week, Dosbeth Ayr, for fantastic work overall, it goes to Cade. Well done, Cade. Amazing job. Well done, you. So all of you, you can expect to get a certificate in the post from all of us at our school. We are all super proud of you. So well done, you. Well, the end of another week. Unbelievable. Like I said, Friday already. I hope you've had a good week. I hope, I know it's not great to say we can't see each other and we, you know we've got to stay in, but let's take the positives out of it as well. We are all missing you. Every single one of us, all your teachers are missing you terribly and every member of staff in the school and I'm sure you are missing each other too. But always remember, we might be apart, we might not be able to be in the same building, but we are never ever alone and we are here for you. So if there's anything you need to do with work, learning or you just want to chat to us, remember you've got Seesaw, you've got Google Classroom, You've got our email addresses. So anything, you just get in touch with us. Remember that we are here for you. Okay? So have a wonderful weekend. I know I've kept you a bit now. now so I'm going to say goodbye. But I am going to end with a song. So go and grab somebody from your household. And let's have a bit of fun before the assembly ends. I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.